Jeremy Balinson is my collaborator at Stanford University. We're both psychologists, so this empirical assessment of what impact are we having on people has been uh, a primary focus for what we're doing. So we've just completed four studies um, and are analyzing the data now where we're interested in what effect are we having on people who go through an experience like this. We're certainly interested in things like empathy and shifts in implicit racial bias, but as I'll address in the talk this evening, empathy is not sufficient and being aware of bias is not sufficient. So we're interested in how do we help people think differently? How do we help people engage and behave differently in relation to these issues? So we've designed um, a few different studies that are helping us tap into some of those shifts that might be occurring before and after the VR and then three weeks um, after they've gone through the experience. So we're trying to get a sense of if it lasts, if something changes over time as well. And there's a lot of compelling evidence from virtual reality research in general, which most people don't know about, but um, going through these immersive experiences, taking on other people's perspectives, has been shown to be quite effective in helping people behave differently and think differently, even over several weeks after they've gone through a VR experience. So Jeremy has done work, for instance, around um, if you can cut down a tree in VR, who's more likely to recycle paper when they leave a lab? Or if you're a hero and you have to save a child versus just flying solo on your own, the people in the save the child condition are more likely to help someone who is pretending to be injured when you leave the virtual reality experience. Uh, people who go through a homelessness experience um, are more likely to support policy and agree to increases in their taxes when they've gone through uh, uh, taking on the perspective of someone who's becoming homeless. So there's lots of evidence that, not a lot, there's a burgeoning body of work that suggests that going through these kinds of experiences are somewhat different than reading about it or watching it on television because through a lot of these experiences, we're asking you to take on the perspective of someone whose life may be very different than your own.